This is called bitter leaf. We use this for a goosey soup, onubu soup, or any soup that requires bitter leaf. I'm going to show you two ways to wash this. The first method is the one that we already know. The last method, I'll show you how to do that and still retain the strands. Okay, so keep watching. So I'm going to have to sun it for about an hour and a half. Or you can leave this on your kitchen counter for a few days. You want it to wilt and not get very dry. Otherwise, it's going to shatter. Add that into your bowl, go in with some salt, water and start washing. Now, as you wash this, you don't want to wash this with your very strong hand. Mm -mm, you want to do it gently. After a while, it will begin to foam. You're going to remove the bitter leaf, strain that water and continue to wash. I like to wash until the water begins to turn whitish. That way, you know the bitterness is, you know, almost out. Now, depending on how you like your bitter leaf, some people like it really bitter. I don't like it really bitter. So I'm going to wash it until it has just a little bit of bitterness. Today's special hug is for Helen Kenneth, watching from Nigeria. I'm glad you love the recipes. Please let me know where you're watching from so I can send you a hug in my next video. After about 6 to 8 times of washing, the foam started to turn white which is an indication that the bitter leaf is getting clean. Like I said, depending on how bitter you want your bitter leaf, wash it, okay? So this is the last strain for me. I'm going to squeeze it out and the first method is ready. If you're making ofo nubu, you want to retain the strand. But if you want to make egusi with this, just cut it up with knife and use it for your egusi. For the second method, again you're going to wilt the bitter leaf, sun dry it for about an hour and a half or let it sit on your kitchen counter for a few days. Now place that into a bowl, go in with some water and rinse very well to get rid of sand. Once this is done, transfer this into a pot of boiling water and then add the bitter leaf. When you add the bitter leaf, make sure it is properly submerged into the boiling water. Then you're going to boil this for a few minutes, depending on how bitter or less bitter you want your bitter leaf to turn out. If you want it to be very bitter, then you can boil for a longer time. If you want this very bitter, once you submerge it into the boiling water, give it about a minute, just a minute or two, and then you're going to strain it. I don't want this to be so bitter. Uh, so I boil this down for about 5 minutes. With this method, the longer you boil it, the less bitter it will become. Okay, so strain that, cool it down with some cold water and then with my hands I'm just going to wash it like this. You can see it still retained the strand and that is because we wilted it before we began any process at all. Lastly, I'm going to rinse it out like this. I rinsed this once or twice and my bitter leaf was ready. It was so easy, it saved me a lot of time. What you want to do with this, with the strands, is cook your ofo nubu with it. Like I said, if you want to make a goosey or bono or any recipe that requires bitter leaf, you may have to now cut it up with a knife. And that is it. I hope this helps. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next one. Bye.